Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Once again, we're streaming, and we already have 12th Century Fox in the chat. Hello. Now, <laughs> yes, he, he saw my test post. I was testing something that I was working on because uh, last night's stream, YouTube decided not to preserve the chat replay. So I have a question for you, Fox, about what you would prefer. I think I fixed it in the settings that it's going to uh, post the chat replay again, but I'm not sure. And just in case... Oops, Yep, Windows Windows notifications. Uh, just in case, I've worked out something for the stream. Would you prefer that we have a chance of the chat simply not showing up and me being talking to myself like a crazy person that I am? Or I've worked out an overlay in OBS that will allow the chat to show up over here in the uh, in the stream, just like that. So, what would you prefer? Would you prefer words on the screen, or would you prefer, uh, would you prefer me being, uh, or would you prefer a chance of simple ignominy and uh, and nothing showing up ever again? Anyway, anyway, let's get to proper work. So we are heading out on a journey to somewhere other than the abyss today to start things off, and I think I'll actually be wearing the tank set for that. And in fact, I might make this a little bit beefier. Can I make the uh, Rian? What's it called? I forget what the mo I forget what it's called. It's part of complement, right? No. What are the dang modifiers for it called? You know what? I think it uses a blank pattern as part of its. Yeah, that'll show what it do. So it's not reinforcement, it's resistance, the resistance modifier. Yeah, all that's gonna require is some blank patterns, a bunch of obsidian, and a bunch of iron. So, let's just put two blocks of gold in there. Melt it down, get it all turned into blank casts. I haven't got an answer from 12th Century Fox yet. I don't know how far ahead I am in real time in the stream and how far behind they are. Hell, they might have dropped out seeing that I wasn't streaming just yet. Well, I guess the question will be extended to all of you out there. Maybe I'll make a post after the stream and I'll... I'll, uh, make a poll for it. Yeah, that sounds like a potential plan. Oh, hello there, 12th Century Fox. The, uh, yes, if you're, if you are in fact responding to the hello that I greeted you with directly in the beginning of the stream, then I am quite far ahead of you in recording, so if it sounds like I'm not responding to you right away, it's just good old-fashioned stream lag. Oh, his web dropped. Okay. Okay, that explains it. Well, I have a question for you. Since you are the only one... Yes, yes. Th it's fine. Well, as you may or may not be able to see, I have little fancy, a little fancy chat overlay on the side. Like, somewhere. Yeah, right there. So, would you prefer that? Or would you prefer if there's a chance that YouTube is just not preserving chat replays? Would you prefer words on screen? Or uh, words in YouTube's... In YouTube's potentially janky storage system. That is the question that I asked you. No, I only have enough for two. Oh well. It's still fine. Oh, okay. I can make two more. That's also still fine. Yes, right now I'm just souping up the armor, if you were wondering. Getting it a bit more ready for, uh, for a journey. These resistance modifiers are going to add a little bit of direct damage blocking to the armor. It'll also make it look a little bit cooler. Uh, 
Yeah, see? Gains this kind of nice, cool black plating. Now, resistant, it doesn't tell you exactly how much. I think it's the equivalent of a uh, Protection 1 enchantment. So it's not very much because I can't pile it up to high heaven just yet, but it's a little bit of extra. Now, uh, I should probably get rid of some excess things. It's just a trip to the snow planet. It's not a very difficult trip. I think it's time is synchronized to time in this dimension, but I don't know for sure. What I should take with me for sure is a piece of tinder to make a warm spot for me. And maybe some lava as well. All right. 12th century fox, okay, you don't think it's intrusive? Well, let's keep it then. So, we are going out to the snow planet to get us some packed ice. I forgot to bring food with me. Well. <laughs> yes, yes. It's very important that everyone sees that I am not the only one capable of derp, you know. It, it's inspiring. It's inspiring to see that uh, we're all simply... Mortals, we're all limited in our mindsets. It's it's humbling. Oh yes, I also have this. This is a. Uh, I think this is the crate that I'm storing. Yes, I wouldn't want to. Yes, yes, I, I forgot to bring a pile of tripe with me, in order to uh, more easily fill my hunger. Hmm. No, wait. I want to go back to spawn. There we go. All right, so normally you head west to go to the island, but to get where we're going, we're going east. I think I've spotted this thing once, just by accident. While I was exploring around looking for something, possibly Possibly I was looking for platforms with chests before I could easily make them. Mm. Ah, there it is. Yes, the great big snow globe. Now, unfortunately, this place has some dark spots in it, so we gotta be a little bit careful. But yeah, this place is pretty, ain't it? Mm-hmm. They made this place fancy. Now, I forget which side. Aha. Yes, there's a little levitator thing right there. And we go just further up into the little dome boober in the center of this place. It's a bit of a climb, a bit of a trip, but... There's some very interesting things over in here. Oof. You even get a little visit from the crew along the way. I don't think it would be capable of spawning, because I don't think there was... Yep, they have dark spots, and thus they have weeping angels, but they can't get up here. So yes, we have to ask TC Indiana here to teleport us to the snow planet. Welcome to the snow planet. Now, the first thing you always want to do is make sure that you mark him. Because he'll be our trip back. Need a little bit of... There we go. Yep. What better place to find us some packed ice than a planet of ice? Now... I think this place is just like the main world. It's the same seed every time, so it's always the same planet. And this world has a couple of special features to it. First of all, it is covered with ice. It is the Lost Cities dimension. Oh, hello, the Ryukin. Hello, hello. There's a little bit of stream lag, so if I'm not answering you right away, um, that's why. 
Yes, we're hunting packed ice right now. And also, I'd like your opinion on what you think would be better. Um, last time on the stream, YouTube didn't save the chat. So I have it just streaming over into uh, the side there. It doesn't quite work on snow, does it? Not with the white text. It should hopefully still be readable. So what would you prefer? Would you prefer... Would you prefer text on screen taking up a little bit of the real estate, or would you prefer just uh, keep it to YouTube's system, which is potentially not working? Hmm. Well, we went as far north as we could, and I didn't find any packed ice. I know that there should be spikes of it. Yeah, the, we're in the ice mountains biome. I think that's where you find them. It's like a sub-biome of the ice mountains. No, we don't want to visit the cities. The cities are very dangerous. Ah, uh, yes, we could also retrieve snow bees if we wanted to get into bees. Ugh, we don't want to get into bees. I mean... Hmm? The Recon, you like seeing chat on stream? All right. Yeah, last time, thankfully in the last stream, I was reading them all because I wasn't sure how YouTube settings were working. So I was reading everyone's chats out loud. But ultimately, it did look like I was just being, just being, uh, just having some interesting hallucinations rather than streaming. Yeah. The other thing is that uh, last night's stream, the quality came out really, really poor. I've upped to the bitrate. Hopefully, we'll get a better video this time. But yeah, I had to use the uh, hard recording to upload to the JBTA playlist instead of the stream anyway. So that's another reason that the chat probably won't be preserved by uh, standard means. Blood Devon? Hello. Oh god, what? Oh god, the snow? Oh god, the bees? I seem to have picked a better time tonight. Getting a, a lot of people coming on in. Hello. I am having poor luck finding some ice spikes, though. I tell you what. What's our exploration pattern looking like here? Hmm. Oof. We're getting... We're getting the cold. Let's find us a nice patch of water to sit down on and make us a warm spot. Oh. <laughs> you haven't seen any of the Minecraft content? That's okay. Get out of my pocket, Ice. It is... It is not for everyone, and I, I acknowledge that. Well, Journey Beyond the Abyss is a very simple, uh, it's very grindy, very slow. It's meant to be a long-term project. And as you can see, it has a few survival aspects to it. It also has a bunch of weird bugs, like the fact that a blank tinder... Normally, you have to pile wood around this and light it, but for whatever reason, Pyrotech and Tough as Nails, the temperature mod, decided that... Just having a blank campfire counts as a campfire, so we can reuse this tinder forever. Yeah, this is warming up my body again so that I can get going. Come on, give me a few more levels of heat. Man, that's good enough. Warding off hypothermia. Well, if we don't find any ice spikes, it's okay. I can just harvest a bunch of regular ice. Yes, our goal right now is I'm looking for an ice spike biome on this snow planet in order to get some packed ice for a project that I'm working on right now. We're working on building our first immersive engineering diesel generator. 
which will be the start of proper industry back at the base. And we need packed ice for the radiator blocks. And I can craft packed ice out of regular ice, but it would require a lot of it. I'm pretty certain that with my Silk Touch I can just harvest this straight up. So yes, I could acquire ice. But you see this ice? Yeah, we have weight in this game. And this ice weighs 10 kilograms per. And I'll get slowness if I'm carrying more than 100 kilograms. And I straight up can't move if I'm carrying like 100 or more. Or, or, or 200 or more. So... I have means around it. I have little shulker boxes that I can shove things into. But still... A thing that weighs 10 kilograms per block is annoying to deal with. So I'd rather just find myself some packed ice directly and do the craft. Okay, I forgot to bring a bed with me. Can I use the amulet here? No, I cannot. All right, well, annoying or not, we don't want to be here at night. So I'm just going to harvest as much ice as I can. Yes. You see, now that I'm full up, I have, like, mining fatigue, I have slowness. And... This might be bad. Let's go back home. The slash home command is allowed by the rules of the pack. Yep. A one by 11 meter block of ice? Um, yeah, one by one by one. That's more like it. Oof. Teleporting really takes it out of you on the dehydration factor. Thankfully, we have just a little watering hole next to our carpenter here in the base. Yes, well, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, welcome to the base. This is about as fancy as I can build, and the roof has to be a pyramid in order to uh, direct pollution up into the filter up there. So, packed ice. How do you make packed ice? You make that in the basic workshop with water. Yes, these artisan's workshops allow a bigger crafting table and they require fluids to use. So you see, all that ice we picked up, that just translates into one packed ice. That's really no good. We can do better than that. So, let's pick up another tinder. Let's uh, put away our stupid doopy. Blech. Okay. And, right. Let's also, I think I can sleep in the Lost Cities dimension. I think that is allowed. Even if the amulet of sun control is not working, I should be able to just take, like, a bit of um, a, a cheap millionaire straw bed with me, and I should be able to sleep on that. Yep, and I'm going to need nine packed ice for the project that I'm working on right now. So, oop, I didn't mean to buy that many. I meant to buy just one, but oh well. Yes, because I am making radiator blocks, as I told you, if the game will let me show you. And you see, they require one packed ice per. The rest of that is actually really cheap. But unfortunately, I'm in the process of building a diesel generator. And to make the diesel generator, I'm going to require... Uh, nine of those radiator blocks. So, if I can get my hands on the packed ice directly from the snow planet that I was just visiting, that'll make things a whole lot better, a whole lot easier. I think the lava bucket provides warmth if I'm holding it in my hands. I don't know that for sure, though. I have, I've played Blast Off, not on channel, but I've played it before, and that used a different survival mod. So, 
that survival mod and Tough as Nails, the survival mod in this one, are kind of commingled in my brain, the things that they do. Yes, the big fancy snow globe containing the teleporter to the Lost Cities. I think that the fact that I've turned it daytime over on this side should mean it's daytime back over there. But whether it's by gathering up just a bunch of ice ice or whether it's by finally finding that elusive packed ice, we don't have too daunting of a task ahead of us. It's just a simple matter of finding the resources.
Hmm. Hello, hello. Ah, okay, that fixed it. Yes, thank you for pointing out in the chat that my mic was not working. Oop. Sorry, I had the stream open to respond in text. There we go. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I was rambling on and on, and I did not notice that my little audio bar and my mic was not going. Yes, I'm not used to having two monitors. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The the old voice actuator got stuck in the ice. That's that's the problem. Oh, it's getting close to night time. Thank goodness that didn't happen while I was dealing with the mic. Let's get away from those monsters. So, let's see. Can we, in fact, sleep on the snow planet? I can only sleep at night, but yes, I can, apparently. There we go. Yes, I'm not quite sure why... All of a sudden, my mic decided it just needed to shut off. That's the first time that's happened. Maybe I bumped it and, like, I hit the mute button or something. Who knows? Wait, what? It's turning nighttime? Okay. I, I just slept, but... Uh, the one true... Ah, uh, I hit the mute after I answered that question. Okay. The, 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 the. Um, it's on version 1.12. Um... You can get this specific mod pack on the Curse Forge loader. I should be putting links to it in all my videos, but I have been negligent in that regard. Yes. But yes, this mod pack is in version 1.12. And now we can flip it to daytime, and now we can get back to it. So, the answer is yes, we can sleep on the snow planet, it just doesn't do us much good. Oh, thank you, Guardian. I'm sure that by the time we find any ice, that'll have worn off. I should probably deal with that temple, it's so close to spawn, I'm likely to run across it. overly complicated and difficult does describe it, but I think I think Minecraft is such a simple game that it needs a little bit of complication just in order to keep it going, you know? It... I, I've played vanilla Minecraft through to the Ender Dragon, of course. I think everyone who seriously plays Minecraft has, just because it's so effectively easy to do these days. And it's like, okay, I now have a box of Lego and I can do a lot of nice things for it, but it, it just, I, I think that if Minecraft didn't have the modding community it did, if it didn't have people making overcomplicated messes, if it didn't have people playing with command blocks even in vanilla versions and making things like Hypixel and the races and all that, I don't think it would have survived as long. It's Minecraft's mod ability, its ability to create complication out of its simplicity that has kept it alive. And JBTA is... It's not quite on the upper tier of complication of some packs. I, I think it's by the same developers as Greg Tech. So it, it's about Greg Tech level complication regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've beaten the Ender Dragon in mod packs. I mean, look at regrowth. Oh, right. Mining fatigue. How long is that still going on? Three more minutes? 
Let's not sprint. Sprinting dehydrates us real quick. Well, let's sprint a little just to get over things. There's... Where am I? Okay, keep on heading east-northeast. Vanilla Minecraft is too simple, yeah. It, it's a very... It's a very, very sound base. I mean, it's the base that has made everything that we see today. Lord of the Rings mod. I've never played that one. Oh, boy. Okay, dehydration. We have a problem here. Let's just... There. That helps. And where's my tinder? That stupid guardian sabotaging us so badly still. I don't think I have any snow in stock. Let's keep that on hand. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still mournful about the fact that I lost that regrowth save. I was constantly telling myself that I'll finish that someday, I'll finish that someday, and yeah, we didn't. I'm sorry about that. It was so close to being finished, too. Really, the only hurdle I had left was defeating Leonard. And I had all the tech to do it. It was just like... I was trying to figure out if I could make some sort of fancy blood magic super fireball to kill the fire sprites. Oh, that and the vampirism. The vampirism quests it was demanding of me. Ugh, I didn't want to do those. I, I honestly, I dislike witchery vampirism. I just don't like it, so I was putting it off doing it, but I know that's ultimately all just excuses. Well, it stopped at the time. <laughs> it didn't stop at the time because of... Uh... It stopped at the time because I tried to record an episode and OBS failed me. And thankfully, I was keeping, I was keeping rollback saves just for that very occasion instead of trying to edit around it like I had been before. But I got discouraged by the fact that OBS had failed me yet again. OBS hasn't failed me yet. Shadow Plays failed me, but modern OBS seems to be a lot better than it was back then. And I, I just stopped playing for like a week. And then I stopped playing for another week. And then real life came and kicked my butt, and I wasn't able to keep on playing for a little while, and eventually it just stopped, you know? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel you on that one. I mean, I did at least play through Dyson Sphere. Aha! Uh -huh. I did at least play through Dyson Sphere program on this computer, this fancy computer that I have. That's why we couldn't find ice spikes. They were hiding inside of the city. Well, we just have to very carefully make sure we don't go too far in and get surrounded. All right. So let's bring out one of our fancy shulker boxes here. And let's just gather it up. The other option that we might have is, does this stuff chisel? Sometimes you can chisel a blocks and it'll have different variations that weigh a lot less. But no, that doesn't look like that's the case. Regardless, let's grab a little bit. Let's like, grab a stack or two. Oh, I don't have my tinder on me. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's just put down our lava, get our hypothermia off of us, and let's go. Screw the snow planet. There we go. Yes, thank goodness that the rules of this pack allow the slash home command, because you have to go on quite some long trips. It would be it would be troublesome carting yourself back and forth from some of the places you gotta go. Oh, 
right. The new watering hole is over by the carpenter. Let's just put that back on in there. Hmm. When I was filming regrowth, it would constantly fail me. Okay, let's call that miscellany. This is our shulker chest, right? Okay, so let's call that building blocks. Let's also take the nine of it that we're going to need. Eh, put that back in miscellany. And I think we're good. Okay, so what else am I going to need? I think I'm going to need a bunch of fluid pipes. And a little bit of copper, a little bit of steel. A little bit of copper, a little bit of steel. And we also need to fill this back up with lava. Have I got cobble in there? Yeah. Let's get some lava on the burn. And in the meantime, let's just steal some from the blacksmith's workshop. There, that's better. Now, how many have I got? Oh. I need to actually make the fluid pipes, too. They're very simple. Uh, how much juice modded Minecraft needs? Yeah. I think I need more RAM in my computer. Oh, I need a little bit of iron, too. That's fine. Let's do that. And I need more RAM. Yeah, I need more fluid pipes. I should have known. Need way more fluid pipes than what I made. Okay, let's just dupe. Yeah, let's make a stack's worth. It's fine. And there we go. Radiator block. That's not quite done the trick. We need more iron. We need more steel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm only going to fall for that once. Get in there. Oh, it's close. We need a bit more copper. And we are going to need some more fluid pipes. Oh boy, we need a lot. I really wish it was convenient enough to build multiple of these, but these engineering workshops are expensive. There we go. Nine blocks. Huzzah. All right. Let's, and let's put that in our oil industry in a box. Yeah. Hello, Prince. Welcome to the stream. We just finished the grand journey to the snow planet, which was largely boring and full of derp. But uh, welcome back regardless. All right, let's put those fluid blocks in there too. So we now have our nine radiator blocks. I think that's all the really hard, really interesting parts of a diesel engine done. Now I'm just going to need a little bit of steel scaffolding, which is, we're gonna need a single redstone engineering block. And a little bit of steel scaffolding. Have I got any more steel rods? Yes, I do. I'm short on steel ingots. Yep. So it is time to build us some more steel. Let's just put that in there. So have I got any charcoal awaiting harvest right now? No, I don't in there. I do in there. Okay. Beauteous. And just put that away in there. Okay. How much charcoal have I got on hand? I've got more than enough for at least one batch of steel. Eight. Nine. And 16 blocks of iron. And start to melt that all down. Those guys sure are bigger. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, Devin. Which particular guys are bigger? In what particular way? I mean, heaven knows I'm not going to pass out the company of a big guy, but... Ah, and we have completed a quest out of that. Ooh, a bit of pig iron. Nice. All right, so... Ah, it demands we make the carpenter. Well, we already made the carpenter, as a matter of fact. Let's just clean this out first. So all we need to do is pick this up to acknowledge it in the quest, thankfully. Thankfully, this quest pack doesn't have a lot of... Uh, a lot of crafting demands. It has mostly just hold the thing in your hand demands. Unlike regrowth. Alrighty then. Next, some LV. I don't want those. Just some LV connectors. I should have some of those sitting in storage. It wants me to make a lot more than one, doesn't it? Yep, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just make some. Let's see. Where's the compactor? Sure. Make me that much terracotta. Why not? And simple as that. We get a bunch. And a bunch of copper. And LV connector. Let's just make, like, a couple of them. It's always useful having those on hand anyway. And now it wants me to make some relays, too. Okay. LV relay. It's always amazing how when you get over the hump in the quests, you get suddenly a bunch of simple, easy ones. Refill the burners? Uh, they don't really need them. Just Oh, right. Those burners. Thank you. Alrighty then. Uh, have I got any? No, I really don't have anything to fill up the forestry burner with. Yes, thank you for keeping me on track on that one, 12th Century Fox. Goodness. I might actually be more efficient with people in the stream. Instead of less like I see on most streams. Okay, now I don't really have much in the way of any wood piles. So, just to prevent anything spawning in there for the meantime. Uh, I had a bit of glue on hand, didn't I? Yeah, so I can make some. I'm gonna need to cut down another tree though, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna, because I don't have a whole lot of wood in here. Well, let's let's sort this a bit more pleasantly, just so that everything, you know, doesn't pile up all over the place. There we go. And grab our bone meal. We only need a little bit. And we have our lumber axe. Yep. Uh, Prince, last night you were wondering where I'm getting all the charcoal for all the steel. This is where I'm getting it all from. Constantly running these burners, constantly making these huge... Why, you know. There you go. Yes, these big old sequoia trees, and you just immediately cut it down. Let's get a shulker box out. Shower us with wood. Hmm. Death to the wire? Heh. <laughs> no, wire is treating us fine so far. Oh, oh, you mean... Yeah, yeah. Well, all the wire in the base right now is low voltage. So we're mostly safe from it. It's when I upgrade it to the high voltage stuff that we have to worry about sudden zappy death. And when I upgrade it to high voltage, I think I'm going to... Well, I'm going to have to redo all the wiring anyway. Yes, yes. We, we just sit here out in the open and we let the woods constantly smack us in the face. 
It's just what you need on a Tuesday morning, isn't it? Takes a lot of time. What, gathering up wood this way? Compared to, say, cutting down dynamic trees? Or, heaven forbid, cutting down Minecraft trees? Mm, I mean, look at the amount that we are getting here. In this amount of time? That's not bad. Well, insulation is only possible for for low and medium voltage cables. So when I upgrade it to high voltage, there is no insulation. So we might as well not have any in the first place, right? I mean, not unless I want to put the main power line going into the base on a transformer and have medium or low voltage coming in. All right, we also need a little bit in Nia just in order to get our wood piles going. Two, three, four, the glue, and let's just fill it with a bit of water. Let's see here. How much does it do in a single craft? It does 200 at a time. So that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And we'll have two glue left over. That's fine. I don't think that's enough to fill up the wood burner, though, is it? Not with what we already had in stock. No, that'll be enough for one burn. That'll be enough for one burn. Ah, yes. And we also have the steel in here. Now, I need ingot form right now, I do believe. So, just get that going. But yes, right now I'm getting over the hump of... It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday to me. It is Tuesday, my dude. I know that's not the meme, but I'm also not a frog. Yes, and remember that we need to make sure that we get at least 16 saplings, just so that this farming method is sustainable. But yes, Prince, steel making does take some time, but that's why you kind of have to do it to scale. You notice that the uh, casting size I'm going for is 16 blocks of iron converted into steel at a time. That's that's kind of how I have to do it. And it might still be Monday for you, Blood Devon. It might still be Monday, depending on time zones. I don't know. But um, yeah, if you're not sure what day it is, maybe that means that you've been up a bit too long. <laughs> I've had those mm, molten liquid things. I constantly empty it out, Prince. But also, um, in this pack, I don't know if it's an intended behavior or not, but I could swear in normal, yeah. Like, I don't know if it's an intended behavior or not because things like this constantly happen. But if you apply a constant redstone signal to your taps, they will continually pour out. And then if you just have it on a casting table with a hopper on it, you can very easily automate pouring out of your smeltery. So, like, I have my mass smelter over here doing four at a time, quote-unquote mass. But I also have a single one here for more individual pours, as well as a block caster working on the same system. So, the way I keep my smeltery organized is, when I load it up with something, I immediately pour it out. Because it doesn't do you no good sitting in there as liquid. You can't really use it directly. Ah, yes, and it's 6 a.m. for me. If you're wondering, it's early morning for me, not late at night. I got up early specifically to get my streaming done while I have the ability to do so. My filming time is very limited right now by real-life circumstances. But uh, yes, that is how I keep my smeltery organized, simply by 
simply by keeping it empty, by constantly having it pouring out. Uh, because, I mean, it, there, there are some things that use liquid metals for crafting. But if you're going to be doing that, you're going to want to be producing it specifically. You're, you're, you're going to essentially want to make a liquid metal machine. If almost every other use of liquid metal that you get out of the smeltery, like, you're going to want the block it cast out so it doesn't do you no good having it sitting in the smeltery. You, you got to have it, like, sitting out ready for you to use. So, like, very early on, one of the first things I did was, as soon as I got my blacksmith's shop together, I built myself a redstone torch just to give signals to the taps. And that allowed me to start pouring out massive amounts of metal. Ah, good. We have enough saplings. And ever since then, I've been trying to keep the smeltery clean. Just as a general philosophy. Now, how many stacks of charcoal do I have still? Not enough. So let's shut that off. Yep. Well, did you see how much wood it produced? It's a big tree. Okay. So, what the heck was I doing? I was working on the diesel generator. Um, I think that... Okay, next. I That's why I wanted steel. I wanted steel because I need to make some more scaffolding. Right. So, how much scaffolding do I need? I need six scaffolding. Easy peasy. Yep, and dip. No, oh, well, just one is enough. Let's have a little bit of extra. It's fine. There's always uses for scaffolding around. Okay. So, check scaffolding. Check fluid pipe. Check redstone. Have a new... Yep, all we have left is those 13 heavy engineering blocks, which unfortunately is a production. So do we have a spare one? Yes, so all we need is three crafts of these heavy engineering blocks because they craft four at a time. Thankfully, we have that spare. So first we're gonna need to make 12 pistons, which means we're gonna need to make 12 light and redstone engineering blocks. And we have actually 12 light. We just need a bit more redstone engineering. Um, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to hammer out my iron. I'm just going to cast a bunch of iron ingots because that's lazier. You still in ingot mode? Yeah, you are. Ah, good. We have a bunch of lava to pour out into these. We also should have a bunch of liquid clay to pour out, shouldn't we? No? Oh, these are just all full. Sweet. Yep. Okay, so for redstone engineering blocks, I'm going to need iron mechanical components. Yes. Yes, that's another thing. You want to prevent oil. Hello, Ian. Ian? Ian? Hello, Mr. Dorner. I don't know if you're a mister. Hello, person. Yes, that works. Okay, I think that's all the parts of a redstone engineering block. Red and, and yep, there we go. So I need a bit more iron, I think. No, that's exactly perfectly what I need, in fact. Well, it's more than what I need, but that is perfect to me. Okay, so 12 of those. 12 of those. And a bunch of these will get us the <laughs> pistons that we need. There we go. Yes. 
Well, good morning to you. That is, in fact, the same for me. I got up early so that I could do this stream. My filming time in real life is very limited right now, so I have to I have to do my filming where I can do it, you know? All right. So, next I'm going to need 12 of these. And... Yes, I'm going to need 12 steel mechanical bits. As well as just a bunch of regular old steel, I think. And that should... Ah, Electrum. I always forget the Electrum. I'm running a bit low on Electrum. And there we go. That is everything that we need. Okay. Yeah, you're ready to cast out. Go. Yeah. We need to clean the air filter. Do that just real quick. That is another thing. We need to make a filter for the diesel generator. Yeah, it's going to want a dedicated filter on it. As well as... Hmm. Such a slog. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It, it's just something you kind of get used to. So, 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 so. Filter. I don't think these are terribly hard to construct. Yeah. Really, the only remotely difficult part of them is all the iron bars. So, grab those. We should have a bunch of these. And doop, doop, doop. That's not quite enough. We need more ingots. And we're also going to need a bunch of wool. Should I have a bunch of wool? Yeah, I have enough. Okay, deep, deep. Good enough. So next I'm going to need the four blocks of diamond. And that should do it. Yep. Next, I'm going to... I'll just buy a bunch of wool before I put it down. I think that should be everything. Question mark? Uh, I should make a chimney for it. Uh, the way that this works is with with um, with immersive engineering multi-blocks or any big multi-block device, the pollution comes out of a random block of the device, but you can cause it to definitively come out of a single block by building a chimney for it. So what? I think we should be able to make seared brick chimneys. Yes, that works. So, we just need to... I think it was just 12 of them, right? Take that over to here. Doop, doop. That will dupe it. So, we have in here a couple of... We have three liquid tanks. We have our, a distillery tower. Oh, the artisan tools snuck into my hand again. I hate when they do that. We have a diesel generator. We have a pump jack. We have a distillery tower, and we have three liquid tanks, as well as some spare liquid pipes in this box. I think that technically, to run the distillery at full speed, we would need two pump jacks. I think. I don't know for sure. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we should we should bring some HV connectors. We should make our first little bits of HV wire. Yeah, that's going to require aluminum. Do I have any good source of aluminum right now? Eh, I really don't have much. Uh, 
I really don't have much. Okay, so... Oh, I would also need... In oh, that requires Iron Grit. I think the only way I can get Iron Grit is I would need to make a Crusher for this. So you know what? Let's... It'll be inefficient, but let's make MV wires for this. Yeah, that's just iron. That's much more doable. To run a diesel generator fully, you need two pump jacks. Well, you know, I don't really need to run it fully just yet. The only thing that it's running right now is it would be running its own pump jack. And it would be running our copper pump jack over here, which is time to uh, time to take that out. Yeah. yeah, you see, I think I emptied it out more or less just before we ended the stream last night. So in all the hour or so, half hour or so that I've been... How long has this stream been going? About an hour now? Well, regardless, the copper input, the copper income on this thing is really slow, and giving it a bit more juice would be helpful. On the other hand, yeah, I'm gonna have to rebuild the whole wiring system for this, aren't I? And if I'm gonna be rebuilding it, I want to rebuild it right the first time. I want to build it as HV just for the start. Uh... Okay, we need one more device before we can actually build our oil refinery. We need to build us a... We need to build us a crusher. And we need to get us some iron grit so that we can build HV relays and HV... And, 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 and HV electrical system. So... I feel like I'm constantly just getting cock-blocked on this project. So, we need a crusher... And thankfully, that is a little bit of an easy device to throw together. Really, I think the hardest part of it are those nine hoppers, because hoppers are expensive in this pack. Iron hoppers, I mean. I use cheap wooden hoppers for everything. Yeah, that's going to require... So we're going to need 18 light engineering blocks, 18 redstone engineering blocks, a bunch of iron, a bunch of glue. Let us get on the glue first, because that's relatively easy. Let's just make a nice stack of it. Empty that out. All oh, right, we need to we need to run our charcoal burners, of course. You didn't remind me about it this time, ah? Eh, it's not my fault. It's totally my fault. Don't worry. Yes, just throw together all those. Ah, thank you for stopping by, Prince. I appreciate it. Have yourself a very nice day. I'll probably be on here for uh, another hour or so. Yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate. You know, you think that as a robot, I would be empowered by the electrical lines. Eh, the game is just racist in its assumptions, I suppose. Well, I'm thankful to have you here, Ian. And who knows, maybe... You'll be inspired to pick it up yourself, and you'll have a little bit of an idea of what you're doing going in, huh? Okay, let's put this down. Yep, yep, when you gotta go, you gotta go. That's just real life dictating the plot. It's fine. Okay. And from there, we can take these and take our flint and steel. And there we go. We got a nice new batch of charcoal on the burner. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I suppose. It's not getting into the induction port. It's just getting everywhere and... Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so. With all of that sorted out, let's get started on those hoppers. So, gonna need, yep, gonna need just straight up more of everything. Gonna need straight up more of those. Let's just smash a whole bunch of redstone. It's boring, but to my knowledge, it's the only way to decraft redstone blocks we have right now. So we just have to take it and hit it with a hammer over and over again. I have devices that can automate turning dust into blocks. I just can't do it the other way. So, when we start building a proper storage system for a more heavily automated base, when we start on the... I can't call it a mega base, not yet. When we start on the main bus base, I'm going to have to have my silo storage of redstone be in the form of dust, not blocks. Less efficient, but oh well. Hmm. Terra Firmacraft, I've never played that one. Well, I mean, I've seen people vibing and building stuff in Journey Beyond the Abyss. There was one guy, oh, I forget his name. I forget his name, damn it. But there's one guy, he was on like episode 150 or something. And he was, and, and they weren't short episodes, they were like 20 minutes per. But he was, he was still, like, back here in his questing. He was, like, somewhere, I think he had a smeltery. He didn't have a blacksmith's workshop, though. But he got there in, like, hundreds of episodes. But he had an absolutely beautiful base. Just drop dead gorgeous decorated. What is that? What is that waypoint? Find. Oh, that's a ship. Uh, that is probably a ship that I mined resources out of. Should take that off. Are you clean, Smeltery? You are clean. Do I have anything I want running in you right now, Smeltery? Uh, not in particular. Particular, I don't think. Okay, well, it's fine if the smeltery takes a break. Huh. Well, no. The fact that it's my arm and I have to control it myself, by definition, means it's not an automatic way. Oh, right. We need more iron mechanical components. That's what I want on the smelter right now. Make me just... Make me a whole stack of iron blocks worth of, of plates for mechanical components, please. Yes. That's just psychotic enough to work. Oh. Right. Get some more lava burning. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just platify what we have. Yeah, 32. That is not enough. I'm going to play Mod Packs this with my dear cousin. Mm. Well, you know, you know, Ian, that's actually really not a bad team up. Like,. I, I build heavy technical, but this base that I'm sitting in right now, that is about as pretty as I can build. This is the limit of my ability when it comes to aesthetics. This is probably the prettiest thing I've ever built. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch those. You gotta watch those dang reactors. But yeah, if I had someone in here with me who was capable of building pretty, I'd love that team up. Like... I enjoy living in an in an aesthetically pleasing world. I'm just not good at it. And I'm more interested in the technical side of things, so I tend to ignore it. 
the base, the uh, main bus base that I'm plotting out right now and building this industry for, it probably will be just straight up a big cobblestone platform that I might put a chisel texture on just for the sake of not feeling bad about it. And it'll be that way for a long time until I have some means of quickly swapping out the blocks, which might just mean it's that way forever. Good old big reactors. I don't think big reactors have ever exploded, have they? Oh, good. We've completed some more quests. Uh, anything useful? These aren't. These are. Okay. Now let's keep a little bit of glue on hand. Ah, uh, right, we wanted to make some glue. Okay, cool. Right. Let's put a barrel on there. Because this thing can only hold ten at a time. So, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten, no, fifteen, and sixteen. That should make four stacks of wood pulp. Oops. And let's also grab undu tua quatra stacks of clay. And we're also going to need a stack of slime, which do I have slime on hand? I do. Hmm. Well, yes, anything is better than the dirt platform. And do you, did you see how much, how long I had that dirt platform? And all that inspired me to build the prettier base was the fact that I needed the roof to control pollution. Yeah. Pretty ain't my priority. <clears throat> Let's see here. Well, for magic mods, I really would recommend regrowth. Regrowth became more tech heavy at the end, but earlier on and most of the way through, yeah, it was pretty fantastic for, oh, I didn't build enough water in there? Okay, so how much does a single bucket of water get? Well, 16. So yeah, it should be. Yeah. I, I guess that one bucket of water just derped for whatever reason. So then it's going to need this. It's going to need this. And it's going to need this. As well as the fact it's going to need liquid clay. Which we thankfully have lots of. Yeah. Pollution was getting super bad. So, one, two, three, four, five, oop, five, six, what the heck is going on? Am I misclicking? Ah, well, you'll be pleased to know that there are plans to resume Let's Read Dwarf Fortress. I'm getting close to the end of Breath Edge, and after Breath Edge... After Breath Edge, I'm planning on finally doing that Let's Read of Syrup Leaf. Yep. And I'm thinking that I might actually do kind of two editions of it. I might double dip on it, as it were. I'm thinking that I will live stream my reading of it, my rough draft of it. We'll do Let's Read Live, and then, like, probably two weeks later, you'll start seeing regularly edited episodes of it coming out. So you'll have the derpy edition of me having to do a million takes, stumbling over my own words, and uh, cracking up at the, at the, at the stupidity of the goons. And then you'll have the more professional take that you probably haven't come to expect because I'm still a massive idiot even with editing on my side. And that should be fun. 
I think that should be lots of fun. Alrighty then. There's a nice stack of mechanical components for us. And that's probably enough to start getting going on these redstone engineering blocks. So let's just grab a ton of those, a ton of those, a bit of those. And let's do red and and that's not quite enough. We need more redstone dust. <laughs> yes, my charm. Let's let's call it that. Oh, right. I forgot that they build up. Well, it's nice to have excess. And there we go. Yes, we're completing quests quite accidentally at this point. Oh, okay. We need to... Well, we'll have all of that in our hand at one point or another, just as we're building all these. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Ah, we need forestry ash? Okay. And now we're up to something I haven't built yet. I haven't built myself a thermionic fabricator just yet. Hmm. Yes, it is quite silly. And, you know, I'm really not that good at Dwarf Fortress myself. I can survive in a fort, but I have to resort to cheese, like, uh, making sure that I can turn invasions off and keep my population really low and all that stuff. I'm not super great at controlling the military. And the military is what you need to make the fort great, you know? Alrighty then. So, we need a little bit more in the way of light engineering blocks. So, let us make like, I don't know, ten of them. Grab those. Grab those. Grab those and those. Magma and traps and hope for the best. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. That is how it do. There we go. Alrighty then. And sort that all away. So, remind me, what exactly did I need for the crusher? Well, I need the nine hoppers at the moment. And for that I need 18 of these. 18 of these. And just a bunch of iron and glue, I do believe. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's a good thing that we just put a batch of glue on, isn't it? Ah, right. I forgot. It needs a little bit extra just in order to clean the last of the clay out. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you even change on a stack. I always forget that. There we go. And that's, oh, slime. There we go. <laughs> yes, well, like I said, I tend to play low population forts. That used to just because my system couldn't handle it, but it's what I got used to. So I don't have a lot of dwarves to throw into the meat grinder. Get some more going. And make me... Oh, chests. Of course! What else do you need for hoppers? You need chests. Well, thankfully, that's nice and easy. Let's just grab... Yeah, let's grab a bunch. Yes, chests are thankfully very simple now. Used to be that we needed a lot more complication in order to make these, but now life is good. We have a carpenter. Just like so. And now... Give it some water. How much does it need per? Let's see. 
five. So that's 10, 15, um, yeah, we're gonna need more wood if we want it. Let's just make a ton. 20, 25, 30. Ah, we're out of wood. Never mind. So we have 25's worth with a bunch of wood logs that change, but wood logs that change is fine. 15, 20, 25. Let's see how you do it. Ah, need a bit more. Do, yep, that'll do. One moment. <coughs> oh, couldn't reach the mute button in time. I apologize. Okay. And nine hoppers. That'll probably give me a quest. Because now I'm getting quests to build all these machines. For more wood? Ah, thank you. Okay. I didn't build nine hoppers. What? What's going on? What's going on with you? Did I not bring enough iron? That must have been it. That's better. <laughs> uh, no, it, it's just uh, it's just uh, cleaning on my air filter. Emergency ejection. Can't always control it. You know how it is. Speaking of. It's fine. I can already see that it's not clogged. Uh, yes, let's start to cycle these. Always be making charcoal. Now, unfortunately, I know for a fact I don't have enough wood pile to run the more expensive one. Ah, I hear Crickle Crackle. It's still running anyway. But the cheapo one, we can just run that. And yeah, we're just going to let that wood tar sit. It's not harming anything. If I need to switch us over to coal tar for whatever reason, which I believe I literally have no reason to now, because if I need to make more patterns... I can make them in the carpenter out of creosote oil. So, unfortunately, I, I don't think I have any use for coal tar anymore. Well, nothing unfortunate about it. That's, that is a fortunate, yes. And there we go. Handle all that. I threw my hammer away. Oh boy. Well, if it's the engineering hammer. Oh no, it was. Ah. Well, that's why we don't keep tools in our pocket. Oh well. It wasn't a terribly expensive hammer. It's it's mostly fine. And that should. Yeah, we got the quest. Okay. So next we need some steel fence. Uh, da, 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 there it is. That's just ingots and bars. Easy as you please. Over in here. Yep. Yep. And yep. There we go. Make a little bit extra just in case. On the ground between my boxes? Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, good. It looks like the luck automatically upgrades itself and doesn't cost a modifier. That's wonderful news. Alrighty then. 
yeah, I shouldn't be throwing... I, I'm building this in the base. Let's build a second of these just so... Yeah, keep the crusher separate. So, uh, next is going to need one redstone engineering, ten steel scaffolding. And, yeah, we're, we're getting a bunch of miscellaneous quests just because the quest book can't tell otherwise. Yes, I would be wondering where my hammer went the next time I needed it, so thank you very much. Okay, so ten of those, one of those. Check and check. Uh, next, we're just going to need ten more light engineering blocks. Well, let's just make them. Those... And those, and those. And light engineering. Ah, mechanical components, of course. Thankfully, I have a pretty good reach on me. Big, long noodle arms reach across the entire room. And there we go. So. Now we can get building. We're going to build at least one immersive engineering device today. Isn't that wonderful? Let's just double check to see if we have everything. Yep, we do. All right. So pause, please. First of all, let's select where we want to build it. This looks like a nice, clean space. So, first level. Let's start it with the three light engineering blocks. Doop, doop, doop. With a kind of C-shape of scaffolding all around it. Doop, doop, doop. Deep with two more here. At least one. Within two more layers of scaffolding after that. What? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So did I? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. Okay, first layer's done. Second layer, more of those. Oh, God is angry at us for making progress. Well, we all know what we think about that. Doop. And a doop, doop, doop. Yes, he can just deal with that. Disregard. We have progress to make. We can't be dealing with angry deities. And then I believe it was... And you have to make sure the hoppers are pointing down, I do believe. Eight, nine. And that should be it, right? Yeah. Okay. You can't stop me. Now, which one? There we go. We have the crusher. All right. Now we just need to give it power. Uh-huh. You going to do something about it? That's what I thought. Yeah. Just grab a bunch of those. Bunch of those. All right, we need also to make a pass through on there. Right. So, where do I want to make my pass through? Right here, I think. So, mark that just with, uh, well, you know, there you go. Mark that 
and let's get under. Under the base. Under the base. Now I kind of want a dubstep rendition of it. I'm sure it must be out there. Okay. I forgot to bring the hammer with me. <laughs> Throw the switch, Igor. Yeah. You know, ironically, we do we could in fact be harnessing the storm for power if I built myself a lightning rod. That is a thing I could do. Yes, let's Yep, that is a pass through. So next let's just get it hooked up on this side. Oops. Okay, so dupe. Dupe. And then dupe. Dupe. There, that's a nice and neat amount of wiring with minimal space to shock us. Now technically this should be insulated, but the insulation on pass-throughs seems to be seems to be not working. So down we go. Yep, into the shocky shocky zone. And we don't even need to run a new one over. We can just dupe and dupe. And that should dupe it. That should also cause a lag spike. Yes, excellent. Wonderful. Alrighty then. And now, I can just grab, you know, I could even just grab iron ore, I think, if I have any. Eh, I wanna keep that in case I need to make fire starters. So let's just grab a bunch of those. Let's also grab a chest. Let's grab a double chest. Now I forget, ah, it is only this one. But yeah, I should, e even though this is, it should be insulated, it's a different color and it says in the manual it's insulated, it's not. Well, I didn't seem to take any damage. Huh, so does it still cause a collision effect but it just doesn't cause damage? Yes, I know. It's the perfect design choice, isn't it? And now we have wonderful rotating crusher devices to deal with, too. Oh, isn't that just a beautiful feeling? As well as, as windstorms that are phasing through our base. Well, nothing could go wrong whatsoever with any of this. So, we're gonna need some more cactus green. Harvest the fields. I don't, I, I know that like I could just clip these right here, but I like to deconstruct the whole thing just so it doesn't fall down on itself, you know? Ah, hello. Hello, uh, Tanan, Tanane. Tara, ha 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 ha, hello. Welcome to the stream. It's lazy and derpy and wonderful. We just completed building a crusher so that I can get some iron grit to make the high voltage cables for our new oil setup. That is where we are in reality right now. So, to make the cactus green out of just my cacti. Let's see here, where is green? Yes. Is that really the only recipe? Just do it in a mortar? I could do it in the crusher. Well, isn't life wonderful? Eh, it would mean more waiting. Let's multitask. Don't let the intrusive thoughts, eh. <laughs> Well, the crusher, thankfully, doesn't kill you right away. It just, it causes pretty fast damage over time, but you can jump out again if you're quick. So it's mostly fine. 
So, next to make the insulated glass, I'm just gonna need... Does it have to be green stained glass? No, it's looking like that's just... Yeah, it can be any color glass. So, I don't have much glass in storage right now. Well, thankfully, even though most types of sand on the beach are unknown to us, I think we can still smelt them anyway. Yeah, we have a little bit in there. So, let's just go down to the beach. Find a nice spot past the sugarcane farm. I think I did this once and then I realized that it was being stupid and it wasn't allowing me to just pick up the sand, but it's okay. We'll just do it in the smeltery. Yep. Oops. Not quite fast enough. It needs to pull me in. <laughs> well, I think there might be a few dangerous devices that can... That can cause that effect. Maybe. Turbines, possibly? Um... There is a there is a mod in the pack for helping develop mob farms that has things like uh, fans and entity magnets that can catch you. So if I built myself a mob farm, I could be pulling myself into my own into my own trap. Oops! Come on. Yeah. There we go. Yes, I'm bad at vanilla mechanics. Okay. It's just there. Get all the way to the bottom of the sandbar. No long hair, you say? Not a problem. Yes, I have the superior chrome dome. Oops. Hmm. I think that in, immer in immersive engineering, the most prominent death trap would probably be the Tesla coil. Yeah, these little Tesla coils. They aren't that expensive, actually. It's just the HV capacitors are really the only expensive part of those. So, yeah, if you want to unknowingly make a death trap, make yourself an electric fence. Well, I guess that's kind of knowingly making a death trap because their explicit purpose is just to... Shock the hell out of monsters. But yes, you can definitely make some very unsafe terrain out of Tesla coils. Okay. Yep, they're unfamiliar, but that's not going to stop us from melting them down. Ah, good. We have... A bunch of iron grit to play with. Excellent. And, uh... Yeah, now that I have a new device, I'm gonna have to see, like... Well, I can just see in here, yeah. Yeah, 58 pages. I'm gonna sort through that in uh, creative mode between episodes, and I'm going to see if I have any new enticing opportunities in my, uh... in my newly expanded capabilities. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. All right. Now, if Prince is to be believed, and I do in fact trust Prince to know his stuff, then I'm going to need one more pump jack to get the oil industry full and proper. I only have parts for one pump jack in the box right now. But thankfully, pump jacks are really fast to build. Let's 
so let's see if we can do that real quick, just while our glass is casting. And right, right, right. I'm making insulated glass to make relays. So pump jack, what are we gonna need for you? Remind me. Okay, we're gonna need 11 steel scaffolding, treated wood fences, fluid pipes, redstone engineering, all that's cheap. Really the only expensive part are the two heavy engineering blocks. So, one redstone engineering. Uh, two light. Uh, two blocks of steel, four sheets of sheet metal. Uh, four fluid pipes, some treated wood fence, and scaffolding. Making a coke oven. Uh, the coke oven is really simple. And in fact, thank you for reminding me, I need to cycle my coke oven. Uh, you load it up with coal or with wood in my case, just because wood is cheap and it's making me a little bit of extra charcoal. It has a couple of recipes. Like if I, in here, in show all recipes, yeah. You can turn coal into coke, coal blocks into coke blocks, wood into charcoal, as well as just some extras. And it produces you its product, but it also produces a little bit of creosote oil. And the only complicated thing about it is you need to keep that creosote oil empty. Which, yeah, this is a full tank. So that thing is gonna clog up full of creosote oil. But yeah, there's nothing complicated about the Coke oven. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, right, uh, pump jack, pump jack. So some fluid pipes. That's just easy. Let's build a few more of them. I have tons of extra fluid pipes in, in the uh, oil industry in a box, but you can never have enough. And sc scaffolding, that's what I was working on. Let's just, ah. Da, da, da. And a zoop. Oh, it's fine. You, you'll... I, I'm sure if you gave it another try now, you'd be fine. More scaffolding for the scaffolding gods. Okay, and now all it needs is treated wood fence. Um, do I have much in the way of treated wood right now? I have not really. Did I put it away? I have a bit. Hmm. Okay, we might need to make some more treated wood. That's fine. We need to empty out our creosote anyway. That's the empty one, right? No, that's the full one. There we go. Pour out. And I think both these barrels are full of creosote, ain't they? Yeah, no, they're, they're not quite all the way full. So, grab a little bit of this. Oh, right, I need to cut some more wood. Put all that on the burner. Dupe, dupe, and a dupe. How you for fuel? Let's refuel our machines. There you go. Ah, good. We have enough to get some more steel going, too. Well, let's 
let's finish our uh, spare bits. So all I have left is the is the yeah is the heavy engineering blocks. And how are you doing anyway? Yeah, you're full up. Large build took me about a week to finish the infrastructure. <laughs> well, I mean, this is technically a one-story building. It just has a huge roof. Mm, Japanese manor, nice. Get out of there. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. I'd love it if my base looked like that, but I'm just not that good. Okay. So, remind me, how much does creosote take? It takes it takes a bucket per, doesn't it? Or treated wood, I should say. Yeah, bucket per. So we're gonna empty out a lot of our creosote here. We're gonna empty out this one. And from there, we're gonna empty out one, two, three, four more. And that should make us a stack of treated wood. Now, I don't have much in the way of treated wood sticks, do I? Did I put some more away? Nope. So what does the fence cost? Treated. Okay, we need to make more of those too. And that's just going to cost a little bit of creosote oil. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to have you here, Ian. I don't mind you lounging around at all. Feel free. Ah, okay. So I was wrong about it. Oh, right, because it works eight at a time. So we're going to have to run through quite a lot of planks now. Which... Oh, boy. I did this at a time when I don't have a lot of planks. Oh, well. Ah, we're almost done. We're almost done. Not that many. Ah, uh, not quite. There, that's better. I think that these sequoia takes pl these sequoia planks take longer to process. In any case, da, 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 da. and then we do this. This. Oh no! Wait, we need. We need the pulp first, because we're going to need more sticks. Right. This, this, and this. And... That'll make five crafts. Ten crafts. Yeah, let's swap out our tanks again, because we're going to need... We're going to need a bunch of creosote for all the fence posts. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> sky blocks. Oof. Well, essentially, in a lot of ways, my plan right now is kind of a sky block situation because what I'm going to be doing is from the oil chunk over here, where I'm going to start my diesel industry, I'm going to use that trick that I put out a tutorial for that I discovered with the train blueprints to make myself a large platform going north. And that's what I'm going to be using as my industrial platform for a more heavily automated base. So that's kind of a sky block, kind of a C block. But it's essentially just that I'm building a large flat platform with a nice blank slate, you know? Okay, so doop doop. A zoop. And a zop. And I think that fencing said it costs 200 per. Right, so that's 
five of you, ten of you. And that should be enough. Why you? Oh, it's the other way around. Duh. Hadurp, hadurp. There you go. Okay, then. And there's our lovely treated wood fences. And that is most of a pump jack in a box. I just need to make the heavy engineering blocks. Uh, da, da, da. You may have to move to your PC soon. Well, I'm actually getting close to finishing up the stream here. I think that when I make these heavy engineering blocks, that'll be when I call it a day. Uh, no, I, I'll make the HV relays and stuff, too. Just put those away. Okay. And in fact, yeah, I think that I can start working on some HV relays right now. So, H HV relay. Yeah, that's that insulating glass. That's just those. Okay. Okay. Da, 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 dupe. Make a bunch. That'll probably get us by for a good while. And from the insulating glass, I just need some aluminum. And I don't have a ton of aluminum. Yeah... Hmm. Oh, it's out of lava? Okay. That's fine. How are you doing for your cobble supply on the lava burner? Uh, no, unfortunately, my recharge cycle is... Well, actually, in this case, it's not that I need sleep. It's that pretty soon my house is going to start waking up and I'm going to have too much noise to be doing any recording. And I want to get ahead of them and not have any of that on camera, you know? Yes, I got up early to do my filming today uh, to avoid that happening. And I'm running out of time. But yes, I need my good old meditation time every once in a while. Else I get cranky. Okay, so a bit of aluminum. What's the HP connectors cost? That costs more aluminum than I have. So, do I have any sort of aluminum? I've got a little bit. I've got a tiny little baby amount. Eh, it's two blocks worth at least. Let's turn that off. Switch you over. And let's just cast it out here at our single caster. Because aluminum is so fast. Yeah, it's real fast. So we're going to need to convert some of that into connectors and some of that into, into, um, into wires for the HV wiring. That looks like a goodly amount for wires right there. Or connectors, I should say. Yeah, that's a goodly amount of connectors. So all the rest, then just kind of, we're going to turn that all into wires. So, have I got the wire cast on? Yes, I do. We're also going to need to make an equal amount of steel wire. So, that's just two more. Turn you off. Turn you back on. And away it goes. I think I can just pile that all on at the same time. It'll be fine. Because, yeah, to make that HV wire coil, I just need to pile aluminum and steel wire around sticks. 
I haven't tested if pistons can break up that wood chip thing yet. That's something I've been curious about. I keep on intending to do it in my creative world, but... Mm, forgetting. Yes, the stompy machine. Glorious stompy machine. Okay. Bunch of HV wire. Way more than we need, probably. So let's just put that, that, and that in our box. Let's keep this. Yeah. It's kind of more of an intermediary. There we go. And now we just have some HV wire to keep in here. Oops. Wrong one. And there we go. Right. So, all I have left is a craft of some heavy engineering blocks. Which, thankfully, I have the hard part done already. So, for those. Uh, for those. Gonna need... Like, 16 cobble, and 12 of those. Get those into storage. Hmm. Grapes and wine. Sadly, I think the only booze I can make in this pack are cider and mead. I could make cider right now, but mead is, uh, bees. We don't talk about bees. All right, get rid of that marker before it drives me nuts. Yes, we, we don't talk about bees here. They're verboten. All right, pistons. I mean, mead is delicious. The game is do doing a lag spike right now, if you're wondering. Yeah, there we go. JEI sometimes seems to cause those for heaven knows what reason. Yeah, the bees. There's a few things that I might like bees for in this pack, in fact. But I'm experimenting in my creative world right now, trying to make an automatic bee breeder. So that the bees will be less awful. Less. I know that there's no such thing as a fully unawful bees. But hopefully we can make it less awful. And that should do it. All right, so that's a pump jack into the box. How many of them do I actually need? Just two of them. All right, so. In our box, we have two pump jacks, a distillation tower, a diesel engine, a bunch of piping, some HV connectors and wires and relays and all that. A filter, a chimney. We'll pick up a ton of wool just from the old man. I think we've got an oil industry in a box. And as I said, it is getting it is getting early for me. I, well, late early. The stream has gone on long enough. So we have. A wonderful natural breakpoint here, don't we? We have a wonderful natural cliffhanger here, don't we? Next time on Journey Beyond the Abyss, we will finally be building all of the infrastructure we've been assembling. Won't that be exciting? Next time on JBTA, the oil industry begins. See you then, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ian, Blood Devon, 12th Century Fox. Thank you. I know you're not here right now, but if you come back and watch, thank you for, thank you, Prince, for showing up. Thank you, everyone. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Have yourselves a lovely evening. Good night, everybody. Good morning. Good day. <laughs>